This video shows you the integration between EasyBeam and AirStop by Engineer Software Global. We first open the model in EasyBeam uh, as usual and you do your calculation inside EasyBeam as you always do it. The results are calculated in Easy uh, with the effect that the membrane interacts with the steel structure that carries the membrane. We load the results and we can display them in EasyBeam. We check the cross sections that were initially taken into account in EasyBeam as well as the materials. After that, we export the structure to Blueball Airstab. We create a new structure uh, in the program that is installed at the same computer as EasyBeam. We export the results including uh, the structure of course. The program will be started in the background automatically and we can show the model then inside Airstab. Now we will do the design of the cross sections in Airstab and we can do this according to different uh, codes. First we see the results that come from Easy. Here you see the deformations. We can switch between the load cases. We can rotate the model, we can uh, animate the deformations. We also see that the cross sections have been transferred correctly as well as the materials. Airstab is a program that can be used for design of any steel structure or member-based structure or timber or concrete. Uh, it can be uh, used in such way that the model can consist out of several materials. Here you see the bending moments and in the next case we will uh, create some load combinations for design. This can be then done also automatically inside Airstab. In this special case we do it manually. Uh, you are able to uh, use the program for any combination you like to create. So you are totally free in creating your load factors and um, you can uh, superpose the results of the individual load cases. After that we create where we analyze the new results. In the same way we can display the results for the load cases, it's also possible for the load combinations. You may just view the entire model or you may view only special parts, so-called named views of the model. Here I display only the main structural beams and columns. The user interface can be adjusted as you like. For example, you can hide the tables below so you have more space for showing the model. In the next case, I create some physical members from the analytical elements that have been given by EasyBeam because I want to design not only the individual part of the analytical member, I want to design the entire physical member from column to column. For this I can create so-called set of members in Erstaub. All results will then be uh, referenced to those set of members versus the analytical individual member. Design can be done according to AIC code or Indian code or German code or Euro code including various national annexes. First I select the members I want to design because I don't want to design all the links that have been provided by EasyBeam that uh, represent the membranes I make a special selection for example the columns and then they already selected the set of members. I also select the load combination I created for design. 
I have special settings in the National Annex details page that I can access so um, all the changes Eurocode allows can be set in those details. Also I have options to check how I want to analyze for example stability and which parts of the Eurocodes I want to use. I have access to materials and the cross sections and I could change the materials as well as the cross sections for design purposes. In the next steps I will have to set the equivalent lengths factors uh, for the columns. I set it to twice the initial length of the beam um, and for the set of members, the physical beams on the top I will leave everything unchanged. Uh, I will use the physical member lengths versus the analytical member lengths. With this I go into the first analysis run and the program tells me that there is torsion in the, in the structure that cannot be signed for stability according to Eurocode. To avoid the warning and to allow a design I change the tolerance in the details to avoid the message and now I get results um, and I can optimize the sections uh, by picking different sections from the section library inside Erstaub. There is also the option to automatically select the best section from pipe sections or from I sections or wherever, whatever type of sections you have. With the optimized section I finalize the analysis of the structure and in the next step I uh, verify the results, I can look at all the details that the program gives to me so if you want to learn Eurocode you just go through all the details and you follow the references to the code and it's easy to study Eurocode. The results can also be shown graphically and I have various options to set uh, the view and uh, if I want to display numbers or if I want to use a different set of colors um, there's many options how to uh, present the results. The color panel, the colors in the color panel are also adjustable and you can pick for example just part of the structure, you can pick the entire structure everything is uh, possible to show. One last optimization run and I just manually pick some smaller sections and all the changes are right away taken into effect in all the graphic views and all the tables, all the result tables, tables as well. So you will be able to size your sections with the internal forces you got from EASY and to verify your structure. After you are done, you will have to export the optimized sections back to the main program RSTOP and then um, we can uh, import them back inside EasyBeam. If necessary you can run a second analysis run in inside EasyBeam with changed sections and um, so you get different deformations, different internal forces. Here you see now how I export the optimized sections to uh, Erstab and then in the next step to easy beam. Of course when the results 
or when there are different cross sections the results will have to be deleted inside Herstab. Inside EasyBeam I have a similar function. Here you see the original cross sections and now I can import the changes from Herstab into the EasyBeam model. After confirmation the sections will change. In the next step I will show how we can create documentations uh, for structural design inside Erstab. All the graphics you see you can be printed to a printout report. The printout report is highly flexible in selection in which tables you want to see in the printout report and you can add um, any graphics you like inside the report. There is an automatic index and the tables are automatically prepared for you. You can select uh, from a template so you don't have to update the uh, tables that you want to view uh, each time when you create a new protocol. Nice feature is also that you can automatically create uh, graphics, for example, for deformations, and you select which graphic view you want to have, in which um, view, isometric or direction X or Y, for which load cases, and the same thing for internal forces, for example, all member forces in all six degrees of freedom for combinations and for load groups. After that the protocol will be updated and you see all the graphics are automatically drawn inside the printout report. From that time on if there is any change um, these graphics are always updated automatically. I also can add any uh, manual graphic I create inside the workspace of Erstab. For example, I can add some dimensions to the structure or some comments and I rotate the structure as I like it and display numbering for example if I use the display navigator tree I can set all the contents I want to see in the graphic workspace. For example I only want to see the numbers for the nodes and not for the members. And then I print the graphic to the protocol but I don't have to open it so I save time I just dump it and later on when I'm done I will open the protocol all in all and see all my graphics in there. Now we create some images from the loads. First load case, second load case, those loads come all from easy. And at the end I also want to highlight a special feature where we can show result diagrams for a set of members or members. So um, often you want to have a nice table, a nice diagram of the member forces arranged uh, below each other. So we use the result diagrams. Here we have again a navigation tree to the left and we just select which forces we want to see. And all the diagrams are then drawn on top of each other and all those views you can print to the protocol as well.
for this I want to use an entire page and I want to open the protocol automatically after I print it and here I see the diagram inside the protocol once you're done you can print it to the printer or to a PDF file using some tools that create PDF files it's uh, then ready for checking by the proof engineer you even have the option to change the size of the images or the size of the fonts or the rotation of the image after it's printed to the protocol. This concludes this short introduction into the integration between EasyBeam and Airstab. If you look for more information, you're welcome to visit www.global.com. Thank you for your attention.